Hi guys, um, this is our second week of printmaking. It's gonna be our second and final week of printmaking. Next week, we're gonna move on to portraits. Uh, but today, I'm, I wanna show you a technique, a printing technique called collagraph. Last week, we were doing monoprints. Today, it's a collagraph. So when you hear collagraph, it's kind of like a collage. We're gonna be making a, a 3D collage. Um, you can use cardboard, wood, some sort of hard surface that you can glue or position things down on. Uh, and then we're gonna be printing off of that raised surface, that raised collage that we create. All right, so what you can see here is I've got a variety of, you know, the, he's, some of the collagraph plates that I've created. Um, I've got some of the prints that turned out a little bit better, and I've got, I've got a stack of prints that didn't turn out all that great. Um, and well, some of these are okay, but there's a lot of ones that aren't so good. So I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, this is a process. so. You kind of have to, you have to experiment, see what works, see what doesn't work. And I'll, I'll share some of the things that I've learned from, from doing this process that I, I think are going to help you to create some more successful prints. Um, first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to collect some materials. So I've collected, you know, you can find things around the house, you know, a bit of a ribbon, like a, that's like lace. Um, this is, you know, bubble wrap. Um, Fabric, toothpicks, little bits of cardboard, stuff from outside that I found, pieces of egg carton. Um, you can use lots of these different materials to create texture. Um, I even on this one, I ended up using uh, some Cheerio pieces. I used a little bit of rice. The, the idea is we're going for variety. So you want to look for a variety of um, sizes and, and shapes and, and textures that you can incorporate into the the collagraph um, plate. You want to find a piece of cardboard. Here's a small little piece of cardboard that I cut down. Um, just think, you know, look down look in the basement for, for boxes or old, you know, that you could just cut a, a small piece off of. Uh, you can also use a little scrap of wood and you can create a plate out of a scrap of wood also. If you don't have this thicker cardboard, the a cereal box uh, could also work. If you cut out a piece, I think it has enough uh, stability to it that, that it could work for you. Um, and then you're going to need to have a glue uh, that you can glue materials down on, that you can glue the materials onto the board. Elmer's glue, glue stick, hot glue, those all work. Um, you can also make a really simple glue, and I'm going to demonstrate that really quick. If you take, it's one part flour and one part water. So you don't need a lot of this, so try to avoid using a big cup of it. Um, in this case, I'm going to use like, this is like a quarter cup. I'm going to use just under a quarter cup. Drop that in there. Just under a quarter cup of water. Drop that in. And if you mix the two together, you're going to end up with a really good paste pretty quickly that you can use as a glue. Now you might have to plan this out where you, you know, glue all your objects onto the cardboard and then give it a, you know, give it a, a day to dry and then try your printing the, the next day after it's dried on there and it's, it's nice and, and solid because you don't want to print off of the, the collage if the glue hasn't dried onto it yet. If you don't have flour, you could also try, you know, syrups. You could try maple syrup, see if that could get things to stick down a little bit. The whole purpose is to get things to kind of hold in place while you're printing off of the surface. Technically, you don't really need to have glue, but it's going to make it a lot easier to work with it. All right, so you've taken your, you've collected your materials. What are you going to make? Um, you could make more of an abstraction. Here's a, a collagraph plate that I made that was more of an abstraction. The leaf turned out really nicely on it. Um, or another thought is to work with your work with your initials. So I worked with the letter R. And again, I'm thinking, you know, I tried to create a, a nice R there, drew it onto the cardboard, and then I tried, you know, fitting all these different materials and bits in to, to create the, um, the letter there. 
things that I found that, that worked out pretty well. Uh, the, the, when the surface is soft, you get a better print. So printing on paper towel or napkin prints pretty good. You could try, if you have scraps of fabric, you could try printing on a scrap of fabric. Um, this print, which I printed off of this more abstract one, was off of uh, a damp piece of copy paper. So I took copy paper, I ran it under water, and then I set the, the wet paper, because I wanted it to be kind of even, I set the wet paper between a couple pieces of paper towel here. So this paper is nice and damp, this is ready to go. And I'm gonna print with this here in just a second. All right, so I'm demonstrating with the house paint again. You could try printing with mixed materials. Um, I think this print I was experimenting with um, Hershey syrup and hot sauce and mustard again. Create some interesting colors. But house paint is it's nice and easy. If you have temper paint at home, you can use that. If you find that you know you're struggling to find materials to work with, or you don't have you don't have certain things, send me an email and let me know, you know what you're trying to what you're trying to work with and I can help you out. There's always a solution that we can find to, to do the project. So I spread that paint a little bit around the, over the surface. Then I'm gonna take my damp paper. I lay the damp paper over top. Lightly tap it down. And then I push a little bit more, especially over the areas that I want to print, over the textures that I really want to have come out, which is, in this case, it's the, the letter. And tap in, going over the, wherever these little twigs are. Picking up some of the texture down here, a little bit down there. It's the rice. And I think I worked over the whole surface. I pull it off, take a look at what I got. Yeah, that's a fair print. Not too bad. Probably would have liked to have a little bit more paint on it, so I could try that next time, just apply a little bit more paint. Like I said, it takes a little bit of, takes a little bit of practice with it. Some of you produced incredible monoprints. They turned out really beautifully. And that's one of the great things about printmaking is you're often surprised by the results that you get. Sometimes it doesn't work out so good. Um, if you find that, you know, you've been, you gave it a shot, you tried a bunch of different things, tried to get a good print out of it. In the comments, when you submit your project, you know, let me know what you tried. Tell me about your process what you tried to do because I take that into account when I give you guys credit for it. Kind of pushing it a little more even all over top now. In the end, you're going to be showing me, you know, one, at least one print where you got pretty decent quality and it shows a variety of textures, shapes, or lines. 
if you want to show me a couple prints that you tried, like, hey, I tried a lot of different things, I'd love to see that too. All right, tap that down pretty good. Peel it off. Yeah, this is better. A little bit more paint that time. All right, guys, so that's Collagraph printmaking. I, I hope you have fun with it. And I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what, what you get from the process. And uh, I'll see you next week.